Thank you, distinguished colleagues. My motion is on the gridlock on the Calabai to Federal Highway. The Senate notes that the Calabai to Highway is the major link between Cross River, Akwaibom, and other South South and Southeast states. Further notes that the Calabai to Federal Highway is very, very paramount to the economy of South South and Southeast states due to its economic significance. Aware that due to the near unmotorable state of the road over the last couple of years, the Federal Minister of Power, Works and Housing in 2017 awarded Julius Beja Construction Company the contract for the rehabilitation and dualization of the highway. Further aware that the project has been abandoned for months, thereby causing heavy traffic gridlock. This has greatly affected commuters, motorists, traders and businessmen. It is particularly distressing to note in this regard that almost all the retail and commercial purchases for the Cross River market come from Unicha, Aba, and Portacot. In the same vein, the entire South South and Southeast states depend substantially on Cross River State for the purchase of quality chippings for roads, building, and other forms of construction activities. This gridlock has therefore undeniably locked down critical economic activities in all the aforementioned states, thereby creating a terrible economic downturn with obviously devastating consequences on the citizenry. Worried that the state of the road has worsened to the level where erosion, gullies, and potholes are the major characteristics of the highway, which clearly is a national embarrassment. Further worried that this terribly de deteriorating state of the road, if not quickly addressed, would clearly promote poverty and worsen the already alarming security situation in the zones aforementioned. And concerned that the distance between Calaba and Uyo, which ordinarily should be about one and a half hours, now takes several hours or even days, resulting to a shift to the usage of the ocean route between Calaba and Oron that has already claimed several lives, resulting from boat mishaps occasioned by an influx that was unprepared for. Accordingly, resolves to, one, urge the federal government to immediately mandate Julius Berger to, as a matter of economic emergency, resume the rehabilitation and dualization of the Calabai to Federal Highway. Two, fund the project in a meaningful manner as to accelerate commitment on the part of Julius Berger and ensure speedy completion of the project. And three, observe a minute silence in honor of those who have already lost their lives in the ocean pathway of Calabar and Oron. I so move, Mr. President. For bringing up um, this motion concerning the Calabar Itu Highway, which has become a dead trap to our people. Severally, the issue of the maintenance and reconstruction of roads across the nation has been raised in these hallowed chambers. And um, we've made a call on the Ministry of Federal Minister of Works to do something about the roads. We've also requested that the budget for road construction maintenance in Nigeria should also be improved. Mr. President, the Calabar Itu Road, as rightly stated in this motion by Senator Honor, is a major trunk A road that links several states. And for some years, Mr. President, we have been suffering in the state, in that, this part of the country. For someone to move from Uyo to Calabar, or Calabar to Uyo, takes some days, a minimum of seven hours. A sister-in-law of mine that moved from Calabar to visit me in Uyo, Akwaibom State, 
took five solid hours to go through the Calabar Itu Road. The major problem I see is not the contractor, it's on the release of funds, mobilization to the contractor to do its own part of the work. I'm very happy, Mr. President, that this uh, chamber, through the committee, uh, passed uh, the amendment bill for procurement that uh, will enable uh, the executive to mobilize contractors enough to be able to do the work. And again, passing the budget, returning the budget to January to December a cycle, I'm very certain, will also help in the implementation of the budget. Mr. President, we've lost so many lives. Those who can't uh, go through the seven hours, five hours on the road, return back to um, Oran, Calabar, using speedboats. Again, that waterfront where we used to have ferries that commuters, when entering, will ensure or will be certain that their lives are safe, that they'll move from one point to the other. The ferry services is no more there. And the only thing left is the small speed boats without life jacket. And in the course of crossing, they get drowned and so many people die. So this motion, Mr. President, is very, very important and needs urgent attention. I want to strongly support all the prayers as um, stated in this motion that Julius Beja should be mobilized to return back to site and when they get back, they should be serious. This festive period, the Christmas period, uh, Cross River State, normally they have a festival, the Christmas uh, festival, that people will travel from neighboring states to attend. That is going to be affected, and the economy of the area is also affected. I so support. Thank you. Is there anybody against the motion?